All right, gonna score things up here, part B. Um, what you should have noticed from the first part is how this particular diagram is growing, and it's growing by two each day. So what we're doing is we are stacking the previous days uh, next to each other. So there would be day one, day two, day three, day four, and we would continue all the way until we got to seven, and it would look similar to this. Well, it wants to know how many push-ups Scott will do after a week. Someone counted the total number of boxes over here, uh, and they got 63. So f of 7 was equal to 63. But they counted, which is not so bad if we're dealing with a, a seven-day model. But what if we continue this seven-day all the way until we get to uh, day 31? I'm not counting, all right? Or what is f of 31? What is that equal? I'm not counting all those blocks. So what we take notice of uh, in this and how I explained this was everything that we look at this semester uh, as far as quadratics revolves, and I need a little bit of blank space here, revolves back around this basic square of x by x. So when we look at a lot of these first diagrams, I'm going to picture this first diagram as a, a square with added features to it. So in other words, this is an over-exaggeration, so you can see it, but here's, here's my, hopefully you can see it anyway, here's my original square. Well, if it's, if the data is quadratic, it's going to change in two dimensions. Now, think about a, a square, and I'll, I'll, I'll move this over here uh, a little bit. Well, I, I, I don't think I need to. If I take my original square here like this, which is one by one, one by one is one, but my output on day one is three. Well, how is it three? Because I've done something to that diagram. What did I do to that diagram? I took this one by one and changed it so that my length and my width reflect the total output. Well, my length didn't change, or my base didn't change, so that is one. My height has changed, again, base times height, but now what is my height? My height is now one plus two, so one plus two. Now maybe that made sense, maybe it didn't make sense, but when I get to figure number two, what is happening with figure number two that they want me to see is that now I have three and this next one is three, and it's higher, but now my original base is now two by two. Well, in all of thinking about patterns and doing stuff, it's being able to take your diagram and manipulate it so that it works for you. I'm gonna take this box over here, and I'm gonna dump it right in here so that now this becomes two by two plus two. And if we continue that, we get one by 1 plus 2, 2 by 2 plus 2, 3 by 3 plus 2, trust me it would work out that way, and we would keep going until we got to day 31, which would be 31 times 31 plus 2. It would work out that way, where these 31's represent the number of days. So f of 31 would be 31 times 31 plus 2. That's how that would work. This is my specific formula. So instead of 31, I can replace that with n times n plus 2. n is the number of days. So let's write that over here. This would be my explicit equation. n times n plus 2. And my recursive, uh, that would end up being f of 1 equals 3, and f of x equals f of x minus 1. And that would be my second difference, which we should already have which is 2x plus, and what did I do to get back to this here? Well, if this was plus 5 plus 7, then going backwards would be plus 3. And again, my focus is not on this middle data. It's comparing these two. So 3 minus 3 is 0, and then this would be plus 1. What did I do to get back to it? I added 1. and there is my linear rate of change. So there's both of them. Make sure you fill in the graph. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to take the time. You should know how to do that. And then all it's asking is, will he meet his goal for charity? 31 
times 31 plus 2 is going to be 31 times 33, and we get 1023. And if you read back, it just asks, hey, well, he needs to do at least 500 or more. Well, obviously 1023 is more than 500. So yes, he meets his goal, uh, he does that. This is tough. The, the, the explicit equations, especially right here, those are tough to see uh, and tough to figure out. Uh, we'll do some more practice problems with uh, this type of theory and this addition method here in the, in the coming days. So just make sure you get that assignment done and turned in, all right?